this occupation is an ongoing criminal act of war crimes after war crimes, and we are not willing to continue to take part in these war crimes. As a child in Israel, you are being brought up in a very strong Zionist militaristic uh, education. You don't know uh, almost anything about uh, Palestine. You don't know about the Nakba in 1948. You don't know about the ongoing oppression. I realized uh, during the Second Intifada that uh, what the Israeli Air Force and the Israeli military is doing is a war crime, uh, terrorizing a population of millions of Palestinians. And when I realized that, I decided to not just leave, but to organize other pilots that would publicly refuse to take part in these crimes. It was a psychological and, a, and a very difficult process, but once you realize that uh, you are part of a terrorist organization, uh, you understand that you have to say no, you have to take the consequences. I was fired from all the companies I worked for in Israel, and it was uh, hard to because I support the Palestinian struggle, and because I give lectures all around the world, because I am part of the boycott, divestment of, and sanctions movement, uh, because I uh, say that Israel is an apartheid state, because I say that my government and my military commanders are war criminals. Oh.